today we are going to talk about multiprocessing versus multi-threading from application development and administration perspective. So what's uh, multi-threading? It's a kind of application where multiple threads, which are, I don't know, processor executed uh, or scheduled on one processor, uh, these multiple threads separated by operating system facilities. Uh, so doing uh, some job inside a single binary. So running multiple threads, uh, they have a shared memory. Uh, programmers use a lot of matex uh, locking or some other kind of locking to protect the structures. Because, uh, for example, if two threads are going to write to some variable, global variable, they will definitely get some conflict and the state of the variable will be unknown. Or probably just the uh, state will be after the last thread have finished to write it. So, but normal application wants to control what's left there. So, normally they are Java applications. It's uh, almost one single operating system process for all Java application, where inside these Java beans and other uh, kind of processes or threads are running. You may run a classical C, C++ application using POSIX Threads API, for example, or Go language, Go routines. These are also uh, threads. There could be uh, multiple Go routines or one or many operating system threads. Go language have its own scheduler built inside. So this is about multi-threading. It's a single operating system process running, doing a lot of tasks. At the same time by running multiple threads so another thing what we are looking today is a uh, multi-processing it's a application which consists of multiple executables so you deliver an application it may have a 10 I don't know 20 or 100 processes uh, you start them up some kind with some kind of tool maybe some application server like uh, Endura X middleware uh, in case of Zero MQ as you see here probably it's not controlling your processes you have to create some framework for starting them I don't know in a script or something to, to boot them but uh, it's a concept that you make an application it consists of uh, multiple binaries running in the same system executables are kind of uh, atomic units for operating system the signal handling or um, memory handling and so on it's uh, in each executable separate thing mapped by operating system so uh, if the process goes wrong or something it's a one process which is going to die of the whole application so here is the concepts as you see in the multiprocessing application it's uh, the application is employing some kind of interprocesses uh, interprocess communication application library or framework or middleware and have some protocols how these binaries uh, communicate with each other where instead a uh, single uh, executable application here is uh, running multiple threads which are communicating we are shared memory common memory for one executable and the programmer is going to the locking and this <sighs> doing these works to synchronize the the threads so it's a lot of work to do for a programmer so here is the matrix for comparing multiprocessing versus multi-threading as we see here the programming complexity for multiprocessing is low because uh, the middleware provides some some api how they communicate and they each executable can be single threaded, use global variables, and they are doing one thing at a time. While in the multi threading, you have a do to start to manage these threads, manage the lot deadlocks they could cause or, or some other locking, so you have to watch it. And performance uh, for multi processing, there is some kind of uh, overhead for the 
for, for IPC because it's uh, copying some messages to queues and operating system will deliver these to different processes so it takes a little bit time. For multithreading it depends on application. If you for example start, I don't know, 12 uh, threads and they are each doing some other jobs and they must not be synchronized and then it's fast application but if they are sharing some works or so on so there will be some low low performance due to memory locking and some other issues the stability for multiprocessing is high because the single unit for the work is the process process may go wrong memory overflow or some invalid memory access it may be core dumped but it's single executable it can be restarted and the application will continue to work where instead the multi-threading application one core dump invalid memory access will cause all the application to go down and will be killed and the services provided by application will be closed for a time while the process is booting back administration tools for uh, multiprocessing are provided by middleware and by operating system itself because it's a, just a process you may kill it or start separately and uh, it will join the application uh, domain and it will continue to work while instead of administration tools for multi-threading must be developed by developer and you have to watch how smart the developer is is it providing some tools to manage the thread counts, reboot some threads, I don't know, or fix some internals, but basically it's something new. It's something new for administrator, because administrator know what is a process of the operating system, but it doesn't know what is a thread, how to manage these threads, because it's kind of very internal thing of the application. So mainly the multiprocessing is used for large systems because you can deploy hundreds of binaries and multiple copies that will run and they will not interfere with uh, each other. For example, if you serve some ATI processing and meanwhile you are doing some balance imports or transaction exports, this is these are completely separate uh, logical units and they will be separated at the operating system level, at the process level. So if something is wrong with ATM, the uh, balance processing or POS processing will not stop, it will just stop ATM processing. While in multi-threading, uh, it's hard to imagine how to how to manage such large scale applications like telecommunication switches or or bank systems, accounting systems with multiple connections which are uh, constantly developing and scaled. It's it's a hard hard load balancing also in a multi-processing application depending on the middleware you may run a multiple coffees of executables you may start 10 or 100 or 500 of these and the operating system will run this and put them in sleep and schedule and so on but for multi-threaded application you have to request this from developer or check the how developer is smart and how it's implemented the management of the, the application processes inside these threads inside I mean real-time patching uh, also for the multi-processing application it's not a problem because uh, these are just the executables which can be restarted and might be affecting one transaction not a whole system while the multi-threading real-time patching is almost uh, impossible maybe by loading some dynamic libraries and uh, in next I will show, uh, I have discovered uh, this framework Endura X which is running the uh, multiple executables and offering some middleware services. So I will continue with the demonstration of uh, middleware services, Endura X, as you hear, see here. So I will start just the application, first we have a load configuration type start yes and uh, you will see here it's uh, have booted 
many executables. This ccconf server, tp event server, tm server, these are separate executables. For example, this is running, uh, I don't know how many, one, two, three copies, and uh, tcp gate, that's why it's running, also multiple copies. So, if we check here, for example, tcp gate sv. We see here we have here we have some kind of them some some copies they're running so for example I want to stop this copy TCP gate as a uh, TCP gateway server it's opening some port or connecting to some port and uh, doing this traffic so hey, it offers some abstraction of sockets to this IPC which is built inside Endure X for example you see this server server ID 250 Except for example, PPM print process model 250. Yeah, it's a, it is a TCB gate SV, so I did this, and the process ID is this, so it's running. I will try to kill him, and uh, let's try to see will it come back or not. Kill minus 9, okay, 7, PPM. Oh, so flag is changed you see now the uh, bid process ID is different as here yeah definitely different so it's already came back so it's killed and came back so as you see that I could start it normally like uh, I don't know this is the factual binary I want to stop it I can just to tell the system to shut down and okay, we'll see the process is stopped we can start it back of course and uh, this process offers some services to system to see the services under X have command PSC print services. So here's some service name, routine name, program name. And we see the response times of the services and what's the status available or busy. And this 250, it offers TCP and PP service. So we can just, uh, as you did before, stop the instance and we see no more service available we can start it back of course start minus a yeah it's booted and it's back online so as you see the demonstration shows that administrator can uh, manage these processes like operating system processes and uh, the developer can build some kind of application which is built around processes you can make some abstractions or POS device or network device or some HSM or, or telecommunications it's all based over or something it could be just a process and it could offer some services inside the system and the administrator can start or stop these processes uh, do some configuration for example in this case uh, I will show the XML file where the Endura X services are described executables and here is some voila, information and here are the servers servers this is just a binary name it's just the operating system in the operating system shared for the folder or binary folder these executables are it's they are provided by normally by programmer and uh, customer which installs the application uh, they are going to adopt the settings for its own system for example a ccconf server common configuration server it will increase the number of instances for the executable here I don't know, let's boot up some time instead of two reload and start as you see the eight more processes are booted. So if we check in the operating system, yeah the count is eleven. Ah the one is for all grab grab minus y grab so ten ten processes running PPMs, servers running, PSC. Yeah, we have these copies and these are services. Services 
offered by each server instance. So this is our demo. Thank you for watching.